Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Rogue Ascent Overview. This video goes out early today because I got an early access to it, but also I'm not even here. <laughs> right now I'm probably in Madrid, Spain, sweating my ass off in a 30 degree weather. I went on a small one week vacation, though I didn't want to make a video on it because it doesn't really matter for the channel, like the video releases just like normal. I just imagine myself being well rested and stuff. <laughs> good times. So Rogue Ascent is a roguelite action shooter game where by the power of hand tracking technology you progress throughout the levels, killing literally everything that's in your sight, collecting, upgrading and using various firepower to have everything under control with only your fingertips. In terms of the features and the mechanics specifically for hand tracking, this game by far uses it the best and it's a really good showcase of this technology, how it works and what games could benefit from it in the future. However, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's also the most intense visual experience I've ever had. There's so many special effects with blurring, lightning, like your eyes won't catch a break even for a second there. And it's rather fast paced gameplay considering this technology isn't really suitable or you would never think of implementing it that way. This project to me is just pure chaos. If it's the good or bad thing, I can't really tell now because I would have to spend so much into it with the resources and get into the details with what's going on and how. Like if you're going into it for the first time, just know that you'll be completely lost and you won't know what to do unless you spend like a solid one hour in it. It's kinda crazy it's transitioning from app lab, like it seems like this game went through heavy development phase and now it's ready for the full launch, though I don't know if it's for everyone to play. Let's go to the gameplay! Turn to face the motor behind you. <laughs> what? This is a hand tracking game. To enable hand tracking on the controllers, well, we're good. Oh, there's like a transition in between. I guess we'll have to turn if that's the actual movement. I mean, I'm staying in one place, not moving that much, so I'm not gonna fall off my bed. But it's interesting there's a blur between the frames. It really reminds me of the, well not Go days, because I was not there, but like the games. <laughs> okay. Make a finger gun near a weapon to equip. It shoots automatically. I mean, I would imagine, you know, this finger movement would be nicer. Also, it seems very dynamic. Actually, the first game that uses fully this technology. Oh my god. I don't necessarily like that it shoots automatically, like... You can easily just... 
Oh my god, there's so many windows flying. Flick your finger. I mean, sometimes it would not track, I understand, but still. Oof, it's like... The arsehole is very heavy on your eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, transitions. What? What's going on? And it's supposed to be a tutorial. Move, attract, reload, block, interact, equip, holo, special. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Okay, let's just get into it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, it's a crafting station. My god. I mean, does it really matter what we buy when anything just shoots regardless of your control? Is this a pistol? I have no idea what's going on. So much going on.
What did they do? There's a lot of going on as well in terms of the visuals, like this 3D, like, I don't know how to explain this. It's a very specific art style that is very heavy on the eyes, at least for me. You need to essentially play a little bit more of it, and then... You get the hang of it a little bit. But there's like a lot of options and stuff. You need to really do your research beforehand. <laughs> I mean, now I don't necessarily mind auto shooting because there's so much going on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying this. Oh. I do like that the switching is very dynamic between the movement, the shooting, like it picks up very well. If it's the headset or the game, doesn't matter. Good that you can manual the or you like I guess this just teleports us back. Jesus.
Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, it's so much. Oh. There's so many effects here, like I can't keep up. Oh my god, my ears, my everything, like just turn everything up. Just some peace and quiet for once. I feel like the whole project is very ambitious. If it hits, I don't know. Like there is just so much with the weapons, mechanics, movement, enemies, then just some abilities switch up. Then you have different classes and different, <laughs> like, my head. <laughs> then the visuals are just attacking my eyes, like, Damn, this was on Apple App? Like, I can't believe it. I feel like the game needs to either slow down or like pace well with the tutorial and just like ease into the gameplay. Cause it's very intimidating going into it for the first time and just like being lost. There's a lot of stuff glowing despite the graphics being on the basic side, but like it just is wrapped in this whole package of lightning and blasting your eyes. I feel like there is some really good potential going through this game. I would just need to pay more attention to it and time to actually discover what's going on. It's definitely very chaotic at first, so we'll see in the future. Long story short, this seems to have really good potential. We'll just have to see if the community will receive it well because this is not for a newbies at all. And for VR veterans, like I feel like you just need to spend some time on it, read stuff, I don't know, 
take like one hour to just go into it. 